Welcome. This is where success and freedom lives. It's Gary, and we're going to talk about how to have more success and freedom by branding your company better. Unfortunately, when people think of branding their company, I think the first thing that comes to their mind is the L word, the logo. And they think all they've got to do, I've got to brand my company, got to have a logo, I got to have a logo. You're going to find in today's video, it goes way, way deeper than that. That is just one piece of the puzzle. And you'll find that very successful companies that are well branded, they master these seven things. And by the way, as I continue through today's uh, video, if you'd like to have more on this particular subject, let me know in the comments, and I can create a I can create a video on every one of these seven things. Um, I had the opportunity to get some of this information from Patrick. Uh, I think it's Hallen who pronounces his name. Did some really great research on the successful branding companies out there. So let's talk about these seven things, and let's see how well you're doing with your company. For those of you who are company owners, for those of you who are not, this will give you some great information on what you need to do to brand and grow your company. All right, first thing that you want to think about is the story, the creation story. When we think about the creation story, successful companies, their employees, very, very important, their team members, not only those people, but of course the customers, they know the creation story. So if I said to you, what is the creation story of Disney? A lot of people can talk about um, Walt Disney drawing the little Mickey Mouse and one of the first animated Mickey Mouse pieces was, I think it was Mickey on a ship. And if I'm right on that, I actually remember seeing that um, on some video on his story. That's part of the creation story. And then you see things about him having all these great, incredible ideas and boom, now we've got Disney World and Disneyland. All right, other creation stories might be uh, Oprah is one, right? A lot of people know Oprah's story. Uh, she was molested, I think, by a cousin when she was younger. She got fired early in her career. First she was a news uh, girl in the on the news, no, um, a weather girl, and then from that she went to uh, going on set. She got fired, and the rest is history. So people know their story. UPS, a lot of people don't know UPS's story, but their story is they actually started as a bike messenger service. How cool is that, right? So the story continues. Now the next thing is we got to have a creed. All companies have a creed, all right? What, what are they about? What's the company's mission? What are they for? What are they about? The other thing they have is they have rituals. Rituals. Now, rituals could be anything from the processes that people go through to go into their company, uh, go through a, a purchasing process maybe on the internet, website. Uh, rituals are very important. Another thing is icons. Icons are very important. Now, this is where the logo comes in. That's one, only one possibility of this process. Icons, logos. Now, another way of looking at an icon, if you think about the group, the Jackson 5, who is the icon for the Jackson 5? That was who? That was Michael Jackson. So even though it's not a logo, he was the icon for that particular group. Then we have words, right? Sacred, sacred words. There's specific words that brands use to get their users, to get their customers to use. Uh, the one that comes to my mind is um, Lady Gaga, right? What does she call all of her people? Little what? Little monsters. And this is some of the sacred words that are used inside of her group of people. They all want to be little monsters. All right, the next thing, number six, is also very important. Number six is the pagans. What's the pagans? Ah, could be a couple things. The pagans, number one, could be haters, right? So if you have a successful company, you're going to have haters. For those of you who have never advertised on social media, like, like I don't know where you're at in your business, but you know, if you're not at the point of advertising, you need to get there, by the way. And then when you start advertising, I guarantee you, you're going to get what? You're going to get the haters. I mean, you're going <laughs> to It is crazy the amount of haters. I, I mean, I get a ton of haters. It is absolutely nuts. So that's one identification of the pagans. The other thing is, let's say your product is something about cars. 
Well, your pagans could be people who don't really care much about cars. They're into boats or they're into something else other than your product or services, right? The number seven is you got to have a leader. You got to have a leader. And that leader has plays a very important part of Disney. So when you think of Disney, even though you might have thought of present leaders or past leaders in the last 5, 10, 20 years, we still go to Walt Disney. You think of him as a leader. Uh, Apple, who do you think of as a leader of Apple? And he's been dead for years, right? Steve Jobs is another person you think of as a leader. So your leader needs to be out there. And these are pa basically seven things. So let's go over them quickly. I would like to, on a scale of 1 to 10, all right, on a scale of 1 to 10, as I go through these seven things as I wrap up here, I want you, for business owners, especially entrepreneurs, I want you to grade yourself. Be honest. Remember, you can't change what you don't acknowledge. Be honest. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, all right, I want you to grade yourself, if you will. So let's talk about it. Stories. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well do your customers know the story of how you got to where you're at, how you created this business. Also, not only the story of the customers, getting them to know it, how well do your employees know it? The bigger the company, sometimes employees start losing the understanding of knowing about the story. Uh, Sandals Resorts, my incredible sponsor, everybody in the company knows his story. He started from Jamaica selling air conditioners, before that selling fish, on the streets, I mean, and he has an incredible story. Every one of his employees know about his story, all 15, 18,000 of them. All right, the creed. What, what's your creed? On a scale of 1 to 10, how ingrained is the creed that you have that your customers know about it and also your team? Rituals. What kind of rituals on a scale of 1 to 10 of have you created? You might already have rituals that you don't realize they're actually rituals, but these are all things that are intentional they're very very intentional uh, icons now see most people know they have an icon is it a good icon what is the icon can be logo the leader and so forth scale of 1 to 10 10 being the highest sacred words are you ingraining specific sacred words into your community with your customers right little monsters scale of 1 to 10 10 being the highest how well are you doing there pagans have you created pagans, right? You're gonna, well, this one's, this one's pretty much something that's done naturally. It just naturally happens. I don't purposely, in most cases, <laughs> put an ad out that I know I'm gonna get haters, right? But it happens. Remember, pagans are not just the haters. They're also people that just don't like to do whatever it is that your product has. Like, for example, my pagans could be, we have a, an incredible one-year coaching program, an inner circle of mine, and my pagans could be people that just want to be online. They don't want to come and join a community where they meet somebody face to face, whether it be on video chat or whether it be you know face to face at an event that we do. I take people in the jet to the Bahamas to Sandals Resorts. So that's something to be thinking about as well. Scale of one to ten. Uh, let's see, number ten on leader. How well does your customer know your leaders? Now, if you're a one man or woman operation, that's going to be pretty easy. This one's a lot easier. So let's go over a couple of them that are very easy and those that are a little harder. Leader, that's that's pretty easy, right? I mean, that's that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, your pagans, eh, that's pretty easy. Sacred words, ah, not so easy. We're going to put, I'm going to put an X right here because I think people don't think about this as much. This is pretty easy. Rituals people don't think about, creed most people don't think about uh, enough, and story, not just the story, but ingraining and understanding the story in such a way that it's translated to the customer so they know your story. All strongly branded companies are really good at all seven of these things, okay? So what about you if you're a company owner, CEO, uh, high executive in a company, 
Is your company mastering these things? If not, make sure you get on top of them. If you're starting a company as an entrepreneur, these are things you want to focus on. Again, unfortunately, I see people spend more time trying to come up with their logo than they do all these other things. And that's why so much of this is important to your success. I'm out of here. Between now and the next time we get to chat, you know what to do. And if this is the first time watching me, you will now. Don't let others rent space in your head. Have an awesome day. We'll see you.